I don't know. I don't know. Do you realize? Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys are crushing it in life. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm surprising my wife, or I may be surprising my wife, and I told you guys that my garage is looking a little old and we may need to change a couple of vehicles. I found a really good vehicle up north right here in Houston and a good friend of mine works at the dealership. I texted him about it and it seems like the vehicle is still available at a good deal because it is the last day of the month. This last day of the month and last day of the quarter actually now that I think about it. Anyways, so last day of the month, last day of the quarter. I think I'm getting a good deal for the vehicle. I'm gonna go check it out. If it meets my requirements, then we may potentially be seeing a new video or a new vehicle rather in this video later on in the vlog i guess i don't know um there's a couple of things i want to talk to you guys about there's a couple of things that are going on uh as well as far as investing opportunities and as far as acquisitions meaning i am acquiring a new deal hopefully fingers crossed if things go well as well thing I want to talk about while we're on the way to this dealership I haven't told you what vehicle it is but you guys are pretty smart and if you guys are OGs you should know what vehicle I'm talking about anyways we're gonna see it when we get there but in the meantime a lot of people ask me Hamza why do you have so many G-Wagons and the reason is well TikTok has kind of explained the reason and I've been able to write these off ever since I bought them so I use this section in the IRS code called the section 179 where I can depreciate G-Wagons because they are considered a piece of machinery, which is absolutely amazing for me, for my business, and as a tax write-off. Now, you do have to hold the vehicle for some amount of time. It's not like you can just write it off and then sell it right away, because if you did that, there would be something called a recapture, which means you are recapturing some of those losses, and then you may end up gaining some money. So it's very important you understand section 179 and how to use it correctly which is why i love owning g-wagons i own them from three to five years so that i have a very limited amount of recapture if any so they're great vehicles because they hold their value very steady in fact they've gone up in value the 2021s right now the g63s are more expensive than lamborghini urises i didn't expect to ever see this happening but the G63s are just on next level of demand. And they're fairly reliable vehicles. I mean, this one, the one that I'm driving right now, is a 2017. I purchased it a few years ago. It's been super reliable, no issues. We had one small accident in it. Someone rear-ended us. And really, it didn't really take on any major damage. The other one that I have, which I call the Big G, this is the Baby G. The Big G has a six inch lift kit on it, 35 inch tires. Um, that one is a beast. That's currently at my friend Sam's shop. We're gonna actually go there, not today, uh, but in another video, we are gonna go there. And I'm gonna show you guys because he is working on two of my vehicles, which I'm really excited to get back. And both of these vehicles are had minor issues, but because they're so unique, uh, parts are scarce. So because of that reason, they've been at Sam's shop. I only trust him with my vehicle. So if you guys wanna get your European or supercars, uh, fixed by anyone here in Houston, Texas. I can highly recommend Sam and he has done a great job on every vehicle of mine that he's worked on. It's a long drive. I have a quick story for you guys. So I remember when I first moved to America in 2014, I don't know how long, however long ago that was. Um, I managed to score a meeting with a large real estate developer in town. And I was really excited. I put on a suit. I put on my good shoes at the time. And I was really excited to be able to talk to these developers. I got a meeting with actually the four partners of the company. They were at the time the largest office warehouse developers in Houston. And when I say office warehouse, like they literally develop like huge portions of the city to where like they're very, very well known. Anyways, I sat down in the meeting and I started talking to them and they quickly realized that, you know, I was trying to learn more about the business, get educated. And I guess they were wondering how I was able to score the meeting with them. And actually I was able to do it through somebody in the company who worked for them 
who put in a good word for me. Anyways, sat down. They quickly realized that this guy's here to learn and really not to do any business. Um, so one of them ended up, and remember, this is like I was like kind of fresh off the boat and I had just come to America, still getting accustomed to the US culture. Really had never experienced too much of racism when I came here. But this was an awkward experience. I don't think it was racism. I think it was just these guys realized that I didn't have that much money and I wasn't gonna be able to do business with them maybe. Uh, so one of them actually <laughs> straight up in the meeting told me, go back home, you're never gonna be successful in the US. You will never find success in America. And here I am a few short years later, living my best life, you know, driving the best vehicles, investing in the best deals, making the best relationships in Houston. Uh, moral of the story, I guess, is just put your head down, put in the work, let your results quiet other people down. I actually ended up hearing that this person ended up getting divorced and lost half of their money or half of their wealth in the divorce, which kind of sucks, man. I feel like if he had a better attitude towards people, he may have been in a different place today. I don't know, man. I, I believe in karma a little bit, and this kind of felt like a story that I wanted to share with you guys because I've never actually shared this type of insight with you guys, and I think it's helpful to put things into perspective. I mean, you look at you know everything that I do, all the acquisitions that I make, everything that I sell, there's a story behind each and every one of them, right? And so I'd like to share bits and moments with you guys. Okay, I just got to the dealership and obviously you guys know it's a Mercedes dealership. I wouldn't buy anything else. I wouldn't cheat on Mercedes like that. So it is a Mercedes. I do not see the vehicle though. I see a bunch of beautiful S-classes out here that I'm gonna take a look at either way. Still at the dealership, it's about 7 p.m. I came here, I wanna say like three hours ago, still trying to figure out whether I can make this deal work for me or not, but they do have some beautiful vehicles that I wanna show you in the meantime. Look at that front end with all the red accents. It looks sick. They also have this really cool AMG GTC. It's not as cool as my friend Luca's AMG uh, GTC, which is actually outside over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is a killer spec AMG. And it's in the distance, I know, but it is a killer. You have the McLaren GT, the newer one. This is beautiful as well, beautiful vehicle. I may actually consider uh, one of these for myself if I ever thought that I was gonna move out of the AMG family. You have the S63 over here. And then let me show you a little bit more on this AMG GTC. It's crazy. Look at that. And then here, you have this customizer that's really cool um, and basically what it does is it, it allows you to customize stuff and see it um, up there so for example if we went with the GLB and well, it's not working but it should if we went G-Wagon and we went to build I think what we do is build you just click on build here it should be connected to that big screen over there and it should allow you um, to see the build on the big screen so obviously that big screen is not working but that's all right you know we're still at the dealership i'm still trying to make this work by the way all this and my wife still doesn't know what the hell's going on so she's gonna be crazy surprised uh if we can seal this deal now they did give me good money on my g63 so i'm not upset about that i drove it for three years lost three thousand dollars see this is what i tell you guys the beauty of driving g wagons is you really don't lose money if you buy them right and the one I'm buying right now, I'm actually buying very right. So hopefully I don't lose too much money on it when I sell it. I have already proven the model because I'm losing $3,000 while driving my G63 for three years. So literally almost a free vehicle, right? So that's amazing. Um, and of course you get the massive tax write-offs if you buy it correctly under the correct structure. So that's also very important. You need the tax write-off and you need to make sure you're buying a non-depreciating vehicle which is why the g63 is probably in my opinion the top contender when it comes to non-depreciating vehicles i don't know if you guys can tell but it is really dark outside i'm still at the dealership we have made a little bit of progress i'm just kidding we made a lot of progress the vehicle should be pulling up any second i'm really excited to show you guys what vehicle i'm adding to the garage up next it's a really exciting moment for me like i said guys you know before i came here to this dealership i told you guys when i came to america 
a guy, a big guy, actually told me, go back home, you're never gonna be successful. And here I am, working hard, and showing you guys my success vlogging the entire journey. The old, beautiful, loved the old G-Wagon, had a great time with it. Uh, it was one of probably the funnest vehicles for me to own. And I've had the best ownership experience, especially with this dealership that I'm with. They probably have taken care of me more than anybody else could, in my opinion. I think they did a great job. I bought this car from the same dealership. The level of service I received from them is just phenomenal. So here they are. Well, I bought it from another branch of the same dealership. So this is Houston North, just extremely beautiful. And the best part about this is that my wife doesn't know what is going on. So you are gonna get to see her reaction on camera. You guys are gonna get to see it with me. I think that's gonna be super exciting. I think she's gonna be super happy for the purchase and I'm super happy because I got a good deal on a G63 which I've been looking for for quite some time so excited about that excited to finally upgrade and of course excited to get that depreciation as well because these cars are over 6,000 pounds so make sure you get that depreciation 100% in one year can be done if you do it correctly remember that and of course I did have a little dent on the G-Wagon here uh, that I traded it with so I don't know how I'm gonna handle insurance because it's the other person's insurance that needs to pay me For this damage, so I don't know how I'm gonna handle that, but I'll figure it out Cleaning up the vehicle and I feel like I need a little more time with it before I say goodbye This is gonna be out of three G wagons the first one that I've ever let go of that I'm this sad uh, To let go of it's been a beautiful vehicle. I've loved it every step of the way I still have two more of course which you guys are still gonna get to see on the channel actually one of them I plan on doing something really crazy with. Oh, look at that. I don't know what that was, but sounded ricer. Anyways, one of them I plan on doing something crazy with, which you guys are going to get to see at my next fund launching. So that'll give you a little bit of an idea as to what may be going on with the next G-Wagon. One of them I plan on doing something crazy with when I launch my next fund. Okay, it's getting seriously dark right now. And we need to start saying goodbye to this truck and saying hello to the next vehicle and I wonder where that is it still seems like it's in detail I don't know if they're gonna be able to hand it over to me just yet I hope they do but I don't know if that's happening now before I show you the vehicle which I will I promise it is getting dark so hopefully I get a good shot but before I show you the vehicle I want to just mention that the sales guy here Alec has been absolutely awesome unfortunately he's gonna have to drive back home with me an hour away because this g-wagon is in my wife's name i didn't know that it just turned out that it is in my wife's name so what's going to end up happening is that she's going to have to sign some paperwork and we're actually going to take the paperwork to her because we need her to sign the paperwork to let to release this older uh, g-wagon so that's kind of you know what we have to do and that's the process i guess it's a very important time of the month it's the end of the month it's the end of the quarter it's the end of the day we're all tired but we are gonna get this done. I'm really excited to show you the vehicle once they pull it out. They told me it's gonna be another five minutes, which is a couple of seconds for you because trickery of video editing. Oh man, here she is. The replacement. Look at that. Beautiful. It's the old, out with the old, and in with the new. I'm gonna do a full review on this in a second. Uh, but in the meantime i'm just taking possession now and it's nighttime, so probably not the best footage but i will try to get as much as i can okay so it's dark and i just told my wife to open the garage we're gonna capture her reaction and see what she has to say oh my god i don't think she realizes that this is a new g-wagon i really don't think she realizes what's going on I think she realizes maybe i don't know i don't know do you realize did you realize what just what? happened you did it you I did. lied what did i <laughs> what I, have a I know isn't that crazy <laughs> babe holy shit i got it brad you did it i did it <laughs> oh my it took me forever babe, clearly to get everything oh sorted God. Isn't Look this at crazy? These lights. Babe, 